recently, especially if have been doing this a long time, as I have, every now and again it seems to pop its head up where somebody seems to have discovered another method, another mixture maybe, of mixing some geopolymer. You know, all the ancient sites, they say, have been mixed with geopolymer, especially the crowd which diverted away from it, all have been cut with ancient technology. Very recently, somebody, I don't mention names anymore for now, but somebody, there's been a few people that's been coming to the channel, writing comments, trying to direct people to someone's work where he's meant to have sat in his house and made some geopolymer. Now, I'm not having a go, but what I can say is just because somebody has sat down on a live stream uh, and mixed a mixture, you know, no one really knows what's gone into this mixture apart from this person, right? We, you know, you can't, we can all grind some stone down if we've got the right tools, right? We can even throw some plaster in there, yeah? We can throw some lime in as well, and then we can mix something. Take the stream back up again a few hours later, okay, a few days later. See it harden and make out that we've made some geopolymer, right? Now, yeah, the thing's going to be hard. You might be able to bang it on the side of a desk, right? But you're not going to be able to build a structure out of it. And what I'm showing on the screen right now proves that. Yeah, okay, you might be able to build a small shed, a garage out of it or something, but nothing that's going to be able to take any stress, uh, an earthquake or any subsidence or anything like that. You need rebar or some type of wood frame inside it. That's the reason why I went in that direction. This short video here that I'm showing here is interesting though. These are people that are, it's been going for some time, they're trying to make a different method of geopolymer by producing it with waste products. But this is a little bit dodgy, a bit dubious as well. I mean, okay, yes, we all know we can make products again from waste materials like glass or plastics. I'm just not with it that they can make long-lasting concretes, geopolymers, to be able to build structures to, you know, to keep up long enough, like 100 years or so, well, 20 years, 40 years. I mean, how long does plastic last for before it, it starts to degrade? A couple of years. Yeah, if you're going to build a huge skyscraper, then it's got to be absolutely perfect. Uh, you know, even the rebar is stress tested. Now, some might comment, well, you've got a few videos on your channel, Mark, that's got the word geopolymer in its title. Yes, correct, a few. Uh, that's because I put my feelers out in a few directions. I've still got no doubt that they somebody somewhere it's a large world did indeed come up with some method correct method of mixing geopolymers but what i tend to show the direction i've got in is mainly solidification mineralization petrification that's what i think's happened and it generally happened from the flood or a volcanic event I don't know, changes in our reality. Yeah, it can even be that, but I can't always go that direction because I've even got less evidence on that one. Okay, so, you know, I can mention it, but I can't really prove it. This is a modern image of well, somewhere, nowhere special, but this is just rendering over brick. I'm guessing that's why it's cracking here in the general lines of the bricks. Yeah, maybe the the cement between the bricks has started to fail, so it's collapsing, you're getting these cracks. That's why I always say that these people that say it's a rock cut tomb, a rock cut site, your archaeologist is garbage because 95% of any rock outcrop has got natural cracks running through it. You see these cracks here. Now these have not, well these have happened recently in fact, this has not been just carved out of this site. This image here, this is the same site, and all these markings that you're looking at, they're all marked out in exactly the same place as if you was building a site out of, say, partition walling, wooden boards, bracing things together, and it's all just petrified into this material. 
and there's no doubt here that this is a cross beam in yeah so this to me would have been wood now i'm going to zoom in on this right hand side because that part there used to indeed be a wooden board like a partition wall and yet it's turned into the exact same material as what they coated it in yeah as what they rendered the site in itself 